you and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in once again to my channel. For those of you who are new in this place, my name is Rose Keldy and this is Rose Keldy Platform. This is a place for all believers who believe in Christ and they are inspired by the word of God, by prayer and by taking action. Today, I have a word of God for you. I know that if you have opened this video, it's because you want to hear from God because you know that God is speaking and is using me to give you these messages. I am just a vessel that I have allowed myself to be used by God and it is always my prayer it is always my prayer but by the end of every videos of mine any man or woman that watches this videos will be blessed that will have a word of encouragement that they will be inspired to go out there and conquer what God has given into their lives so today our word is in the book of Romans 12 Romans 12 and I'll read from the 11 and I am reading from the good news version okay and the Bible says that work hard work hard and do not be lazy do not be lazy but then what do a uh, hard work being a child of God doesn't make you lazy being a child of God doesn't make you to wait and you know thinking that everything is going to come from heaven down to you no it, it it involves hard work it involves hard work that is what the bible is telling you i want you to take carry this word with you this week all this month that i'm going to you know put in you know effort in anything that i'm doing and when the bible is talking about you being a hard worker and not being a lazy man it's not only talking about the physical aspect of your life it's talking about your your spiritual life as well it is a hard work as a child of god i want you uh, anybody that listen to me to understand that uh, to be a child of god or to, to 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 stand on this position to go into what to to to, to wait on god not an easy work to go to heaven it is not an easy, it is not an easy work it involves hard work so the lord wants you to do what a hard work this week this month he wants you to put more effort to whatever you are doing it can be your business it can be your career it can be your 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 spiritual life it can be anything that you are looking forward to god to give to you any prayer you are praying for to for, for this month or this week it will involve hard work as well so do do go and out there to do the hard work part of, of, of the word and then he continue serve the Lord serve the Lord with a, a heart full of devotion the number two thing or whether I want you to carry with you this week or this month is that you will give your service to the work of God. You will have you you be part of the work of Christ. You will devote your time. You will devote your money. You will devote your your yourself to do a work of God. To do it with a full heart, not like somebody is forcing you to do it. It can be you going to the house of God to clean. It can be you being in the house of God and be a singer. It can be you going out there to preach the word to the people out on the street. Anything that you find a gap in in the, in the, in the body of Christ, that is what God is telling you to do this week or this month. Find a place and a place to serve humanity. Serve a humanity in the house of God, on the street. Go out there and do everything that you can do. If it's once a week, if it's one hour a day, if it is two hours a week, whatever that, that, that works with your time and your arrangement or your schedules, do it because this is something that God wants you to do and not me because we are reading this in the word of God and I continue in the verse 12 it said let the hope keep you joyful let the hope 
keep you joyful. Any man that has hope in Christ, this is a word for you. The number three word that I want you to carry with you this week is that you will be hopeful in Christ. And once you are hopeful in Christ, you have to be joyful. Don't be sad. Don't be, don't, don't make the Holy Spirit that lives inside of you sad. Go out there with a joyful heart, full of hope that it will be well with you, that it will be well with your soul, that it will be well with your family, that it will be well with your salvation. Don't just be depressed. Don't be, don't, don't let anything makes you think worried, makes you worried, but rather be joyful all the time. And when he continues, he said, and be patient in all your troubles. Oh my God. This is very important. We think that when we are children of God, we don't have troubles. We don't have problems. Everything has to come like all like that. My pastor will say double, double. We are all looking for testimonies. Every day we just want to share a testimony. We are always looking for signs and one does no. Sometimes you can have a troubled time. You can have a troubled times. But the Bible says be patient with God because he will come and not perform his own words. He will bring it to an expected end. But before then he wants you to have patience with him. He wants you to take it one at a time. It might look delayed. It might look like it will not come forth. It might look like it is not working for you. But today I have this word for you. God loves you so much. He said have patience for him. He is preparing something good for you. He is preparing something better for you. He is preparing something best for you. But, but before you can cut get that thing, you need to be patient on him. You need to wait on him. You need to take your time because he does his own things at his own time. And that is what you have to learn to do at this hard time. I know it's a hard time. I know the time in which we are is crazy. There are a lot of things that are happening that we are not used to. And because of that, sometimes we feel excited. We, our lives, we, feel, we feel troubled. We feel, it, it feels scary scared or we feel if we are feeling scaring how we are worried about our future how our future is going to be but this is the word of God for you be patient with him he said be patient with him and that is the word I want you to carry with you this week and the last but not the least and pray at all times prayer is the key I keep on saying it on this platform I keep on saying it on this platform prayer is the key is everything once you are doing the hard work once you are waiting on God and you are devoting your time to serve humanity once you are having your patience once you are having your hope once you are you are waiting on God for that particular testimony continue to pray do not stop praying do, do, do not stop praying you might think that you are praying today and you are not seeing the result but you don't know what those prayers you are praying today are doing for you in in the realms of the spirit there is no prayer that is wasted if only you are praying in the spirit if only you are praying according to the will of God it will never be wasted you need to have a bank account with prayers that is why you cannot say I have prayed yesterday I have prayed today so I cannot pray Prayer will, your prayer will prepare your future for you. Your prayer will prepare your testimony for you. It is prayers that bring testimonies. It is prayers that open the doors. It is prayers that makes you take you from the street and put you and place you in the palace. It is prayer that makes the doors open. Those doors that are shut at you, it is prayer that will open those doors. And those that are open against you, it is prayer that will shut them. It is prayer that will bring the victory. It is prayer that will stand in the gap for you. At the time when your enemies are also praying, your prayers that you are making today is that prayers that will be working and speaking for you in the kingdom of darkness for their plans and their plot to be what? To be what? Destroyed. That is why the Bible is saying it, not me. I said I am just a vessel. And he wants to use me to give you this word. I hope these words, you have received them in good faith. I hope God is speaking to you at this very moment. And it, this is my prayer. 
that you will carry this word with you. It is in the book of Romans 12, 11. I want you to go and read it yourself and meditate upon it and let God help you to do these things, to do these things, to do these things as we just said. I would say them again. They are five in number. Be a hard worker, both spiritually and physically. Be a hard worker, a child of God that persevere and prove that he or she is a child of God by using their hands to do a hard work. Number two, you want to serve God with dev devote your time and yourself for Christ, the kingdom of God. Devote your time to serve humanity. That is why you are here. Number three, we have hope in Christ. And once you have hope, be joyful. Do not be sad. Do not do not worry. Do not mama. Do not complain. Just have wait and be joyful all the time. And once you are waiting, be patient. Be patient. Patience is the word. It is a very big, small word, but it's very difficult word. And that is why prayer has to come in. Pray to God, number five, pray to God that you have all these things that you can wait on God that at the, at the right time, God will prove his power. I thank you so much for giving me your time to, you know, to share this word with you. If this word has been a blessing to you, my brother, my sister, I want you to share this word with your families and your friends and your loved ones even your enemies and if you have not subscribed yet to my channel please do help and support this channel by clicking on the notification button sorry by clicking on the subscription button and once you have subscribed please also remember to click on the bell that comes with a sign on the top of it so that you can be notified with notified with any video any video that I, 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 I will you know upload from now in or even in the future so you can be notified at all times. Thank you so much. I love you, but God loves you the most. Shalom, peace.